What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great day. I, I was just packing up all my stuff because I've got basically my studio set up here is basically a portable studio. It's my laptop. I've got like a, it's two extra monitors that pop on there. I've got a mini mixer and stuff. And so I'm putting all that stuff together, uh, going away uh, for a little trip actually. But um, as I was packing up, um, I got a da da dunt da da dunt from DM Gina that I have to go ahead and respond to because this. Let me make sure I get <laughs> uh, get this out here. Wow, the Eagles are not uh, leaving any stone unturned. They are literally looking at everything. The Eagles also requested an interview with Kellen Moore for their head for their offensive coordinator job per sources. The Browns interviewed, uh, excuse me, requested an interview with Kellen Moore as their offense coordinator. The Chargers expect to let him speak to the teams per sources. With Jim Harbaugh, see, originally teams were asking to speak to Kellen Moore, but basically they were like, no, nah, we're not doing that. Now that they've hired uh, Jim Harbaugh, Moore becomes a hot commodity. Let me, let me read this. Becomes a hot offensive coordinator candidate. I don't know why, because... Say what you will about the Cowboys in the playoffs. I, I look at this and I say, we had a better running attack last year. Better running attack last year. With Kellen Moore as the offensive coordinator, you saw the turnovers that happened with the Cowboys and so on. You could look and say the offensive line was in flux. We didn't have a running game. And Mike McCarthy did a hell of a lot better job with Dak Prescott and developing him than Kellen Moore. You can't say the same about the Chargers that had a running game, some great weapons, and one of the talented quarterbacks that everybody has already, you know, he's already gotten paid a uh, $53 million, second highest paid quarterback in the NFL. And that team looked like ass ass. Their offense was not good. Um, so the Eagles want to talk to him. Now, Here's one thing that I will say about the coaching interviews, okay? Um, a lot of times what teams will do is they want to interview you to pick your brain. Because they'll say, okay, so Kellen, you know, hypothetically, you're going to be our offensive coordinator. What kind of system did you run? What are the things that you found out that's worked really, really well for you and your system and how you were able to work? Because what they're doing is they're using this as intel to try and find ways to help stop or to develop their team, so to speak. And that's why you'll see a team sometimes have all kinds of interviews and you're like, why are they getting that guy? So this may be a case of we're trying to pick your brain. And you can also look and say that Vic Fangio was a, will be a hire that will be to try and get at the Cowboys and get more intel on them on ways to try and stop them. Interesting one to say the least. So yeah, all right, I'm done here. I'm, I'm going to get my ass back up the road, and I'll see you guys. And, and guys, listen, this is not a mug. And my wife is like, why do you have it up there? This is in case of emergency, okay? We run out of toilet tissue. It's Eagle's ass, wife. Peace.